What is up YouTube, Fluttershy RC, and I'm back with a Madden 16 Ultimate Team. This is a bit of an older gameplay because as you guys know, if you've been watching some of my videos lately, I am out of town right now. So I kind of had to scramble Wednesday afternoon to just make a shit ton of videos because I got back from South Dakota late Sunday night and I haven't really had time to prepare for this. And we're going to give it to Jamal Charles. Look at Jamal Charles. Rest in peace, your ankles. Jamal Charles just broke that guy's ankles. Off to the races for a touchdown. First play of the game, and Jamal Charles scores a touchdown. Now, I know you guys probably are sick of me just, you know, hyping up Jamal Charles all the time. Uh, so I might get a new running back because, again, I don't like using the same person like all year, you know, unless it's Anthony Barr. I'm probably going to use him all year as he gets a sack right there. He just came right through the completely unblocked. He needs a nice pass down the middle of the field for a first down. But, man, Jamal Charles literally just rest in peace your ankles because they're just broken to shit like they're just like not even recognizable anymore that's how bad your ankles are now so second down and one gonna just thread the needle there pick up another first down so already i'm liking what i'm seeing out of the office now again jamal charles i've been kind of disappointed with the fact that i don't get that many like big explosive plays with him but right there was huge i love getting those big long just head-on runs and look at doug martin breaking off a tackle and then the blocking was literally picture perfect and he gets into the end zone for the touchdown to tie up the game he's got team of the year doug martin and legend marshall falk but that's only like a 200k duo right there so it's not like you're really like wasting a ton of coins i mean you're kind of still wasting some coins like me personally it's just you know my thing I would never have two really good running backs like that unless I'm doing like a dual running back scheme. But for the most part, I wouldn't do that. But I got to Marius Thomas. Again, you're calling cover two. I'm going to shred cover two and Demarius Thomas into the end zone for the touchdown. And man, this, I mean, like, Demarius Thomas and Anthony Barr are probably two of the best cards I've played with all year. Two of my favorite pickups. By far, they just play phenomenal. They play absolutely insane and amazing. And Barr is probably gonna be on my team the rest of the year. Like I, I do not see a single car, a single car, unless it's Julius Peppers. Even then, he would have to have 95 plus speed for me to even consider using him over Barr. Uh, if I can even afford him. But Barr just might be that guy I use for the rest of the year. He's fairly cheap. He pretty much is a 99 overall. But I don't really see any card coming out that's going to be better than him. So if you have the coins, get an Anthony Barr. Get the positional hero. You will not regret it. It'll be one of the best purchases you've ever made in your life. Even that hooker you bought last week. That... That's not, that's gonna be nowhere even, that's not gonna come close to this Anthony Barr. That's how good this Anthony Barr is. He's just, he's amazing. He's better than any hooker you'll buy, okay? Let's put it that way. So, first and goal, he's just gonna pound it up the middle with Doug Martin again. So, Doug Martin's got his two touchdowns so far, ties up the game here, starting off the uh, two minute warning here in the second quarter. Now, he gets bought half, which is not good. So, now we're in a position where we kind of gotta score here. At the very least, don't let him score all in the pocket to throw throwing it up into double coverage i can't bank on that that's not a very smart idea and we kind of pay for it you know well, we don't necessarily pay for it but it's an incomplete pass and on third down and 11 a lot of time in the pocket to throw kind of throwing the coverage there not a smart read so we're forced to pump the ball now but we're gonna go for it yolo why not fourth down and 11 vic rolling out of the pocket we're gonna throw a dot to jamal charles yes this is back when we still had flashback vic by the way so, uh, big first down there, second down and 10 now, a little under a minute to go, and Vic just throws a duck underthrown, under pressure, and pretty much right now we're just calling four verts, which is not all that smart, we go with the screen pass here, blocking didn't really hold up, so fourth down and seven, we're going to go for it again, because why not, and I lobbed that pass, maybe I shouldn't have lobbed it, I don't know, like, I feel like it didn't matter if I lobbed it or bulleted it, it was just going to be, you know, um... It was going to be incomplete or picked off either way. And then Zendari Smith gets the sack and the fumble, but we don't pick it up, of course. So, second down and 18 now. He's calling some hot routes with Dante Culpepper. Looking to throw again. Grimlin out of the pocket under a little bit of pressure. You tried to run away from Watt, but you ran right into Zedarius Smith. Not a smart idea. So, third down and 22. Last play before the half. And it's going to be a duck incomplete pass. So, he gets ball down to start out the second half, which... Now, again, I do not like getting the ball 
first. I prefer getting the ball at half. This is the way I like to play. And, but the defense is stepping up right now. A huge sack by J.J. Watt, pushing him back. Third down and 15. We can get a stop here. That'd be pretty big. Goes with the screen, but I'm all on it with Aaron Donald. Stuffed in the backfield for a loss. So now he's forced to punt the ball which is pretty big for us. We get the ball back, a chance to take the lead here midway through the third. So things, again, looking our way right now. Excuse me as I yawn. Again, because I'm making these videos like Wednesday night. I'm scrambling to make these vids because, again, I have, you know, be between school and all that stuff, I really didn't have a whole lot of time to sit down and make a bunch of videos. You know, that's why I didn't upload uh, to Wednesday, I didn't upload Wednesday because I just, I was so tired, I had so much stuff to do, I could not make a video that day, but Wednesday night, I've been working like hell to try to get you guys enough videos to hopefully last me until I come back, but I'm not quite sure, you know, I'm, I'm not quite sure how exactly it's going to work out, and then Demarius Thomas, nasty, as always, and he scores a touchdown, one big one-handed catch, and I, I, I know my Chiefs fans don't like me hyping up a Broncos player like that, I'm sorry, he's he's just that good. Like for me in Ultimate Teams, we get to pick with Bradley Roby. I don't care what team you're on. In Ultimate Team, you play for my team. Like I could get Raiders players because you're not playing for the Raiders. You're playing for my team. Technically, it's just the name on the jersey. Uh, I've never, I mean, like, I know that some people, they kind of, like, you know, have a thing where if they're a Cowboys fan, they won't get Giants players. If they're a Giants player, they won't get Cowboys fans. Or they won't get Cowboys players. If they're a Patriots fan, they won't get Jets players. If they're a Colts fan, they won't get Patriots players. If they're a Broncos fan, they won't get Patriots players. Stuff like that. Me, I really don't give a shit. Like, you know, personally, I really don't care what team you play on. If you're a beast... I'm going to get you on my team, you know, unless you're like Greg Hardy or Ray Rice. I'm probably never going to get you. And then we f fumble the ball there, but luckily our lineman picks it up. So, uh, you know, hey, this is, that's payback for the fumble that we got earlier that we didn't pick up. So second down and one here in the fourth quarter under a lot of pressure, and we take the sack. Not good. So third down and seven now. Tried to quick throw that, but it did not work out. It was swatted down, so that's going to bring up fourth down. So I'm going to kick a field goal, go out by two possessions here late in the game, which, you know, hey, I'm all for. I'm okay with taking my points. So now we're going to uh, go into the 2 and a warning pretty much up by 10. And the defense has been great. You know, again, my I, the thing that I pride myself on the most in Madden is my defense. I feel like my defense is pretty good. I know how to use her. I know how to make defensive adjustments pretty well. I know how to read um, – I know how to read offenses. I know what type of defense gets shredded by offenses. I know what type of offenses, um, you know, really get beat by certain types of defenses. You know, so I I kind of pride myself on being good on on defense. Offense, kind of, sort of. Um, I mean, my only crutch on defense is speed. If I do not have speed, then I'm not going to be very good on defense. He gets this aggressive catch with Michael Irving. A pretty big play by him. Didn't have to waste any time out. So now he can just kick the ball back to us and, you know, put him in a position to get a stop and get the ball back. But we're going to try to spoil those dreams. Second down and one, giving it to Roosevelt. Nix, he comes in there and just cracks him down. So third down and two. And we just go with the drag route, pick up a first down, and that looks like it's pretty much going to end the game giving it to Jamal Charles again Charles trying to juke some defenders not really going anywhere we're trying to maybe see if we can't keep him in the game a little bit you know just for fun pass the ball here throw it down the field excuse me for yawning I don't I don't like yawning in my commentaries but I'm just so tired right now I can't really help it and then he run commits and Ryan broils into the end zone for the touchdown and that's going to put the nail in the coffin like I didn't have the intentions of running up the score when you run commit like that what else do you want me to do? There's really nothing else to do but score a touchdown. So, first down 10, last play of the game. He's going to go out to the flats. That's not really going to get anything. Don't really know what the point of that play was. But that's going to be game. We do come out with the win. A hard-fought game. You know, even though we did win by 10, it was a little bit closer than that. Uh, really came down to the wire. Demarius Thomas, absolutely nasty. Jamal Charles, rest in peace, your ankles. Uh, because Jamal Charles just breaks ankles. That's, that's just all he does. Charles just breaks ankles all day long absolutely amazing so again i hope you guys did enjoy i'm fucking i'm just so tired right now because like again it's like two in the morning i'm scrambling to make these freaking videos uh but i'm doing it for you guys you know because i really know that you know you guys like to watch these commentaries you guys like to watch these videos and i really appreciate you guys watching the videos liking the videos commenting subscribing i appreciate all of it you guys are absolutely amazing i know i don't say it a lot 
I really do love my subscribers. I love you guys. I couldn't really do this without you. Without you guys, I really wouldn't be doing this. So I just got to thank you guys. We're creeping up on 3,000 subscribers slowly but surely. And again, I just want to thank you guys all for all the support that you guys give me. I would go as far to say I have the sexiest subscribers on YouTube. You guys are amazing. Keep it up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. And as usual, have a great day, guys.